Welcome back to part two of how to manipulate and to add leading zeros using text.pad start. So as I showcased in my previous video, when you simply add text.pad start to a date, you're not going to get exactly what you want because when the date, uh, the date contains only one digit, the leading zero will be added to the front of the month. So that is not what you want. And how do we solve this problem? We have to think about it in a different way. So let's give an example on how to actually solve this problem. I've moved the order date to the very end so that every column that we add henceforth will be able to see it right next to the newest columns. So what I'm going to do next is to add a new column and we're going to call it month. So we're basically going to extract the the month from the order date. So we're going to write a formula that grabs the date month of this value. So what this does is populate this new column month with what the month is for order date. So as you can see, when you add this, it grabs the first value and uh, it populates here. So November becomes November, December, December, etc. Uh, what we need to do is now use text.pad and do that. So text.pad start of this value. And what are we going to pad it with? Simply two characters with a leading zero. But again, in order to use text.pad start with, we need to wrap this with text from. So now there we have it. Now all of the months have a leading zero where they're supposed to be a leading zero. So what we need to do is basically do the same thing for the day. And then we can also basically reuse this formula and then combine it together to get your new and improved date. So of course, when you're changing the formula, you need to change this to date.day in order to uh, grab the date. So there we have it. So now you have January 6th, both of those pre-populated with leading zeros if there is a leading zero. After we have month and day columns populated, the next step is to add a third column for the year. And simply, we use the same formulas each using date.year, bringing in order date. And now we have the year, except you have to remember, you need to convert this into, once again, text. Otherwise, you won't be able to combine numerical values with text values. So now you have three text values all in the format you, that you need. They have the leading zeros. So the last step is to combine all three columns together by adding a fourth column, each combining each column. So in order to combine them, you simply use the and button and symbol. And what happens after? You get your values, except you see that there is no delimiters, there's no slashes. So in order to, to insert those, you also have to write them in simply by adding another and delimiter. So after you've added them into the formula, your combined date now looks like what you need. Instead of order date being like this, you want the final output to contain this formatting. This is a, a formula that solves the problem that was encountered when you simply use text.padStart. So now that you have your combined final value, 
Normally, simply, you would just remove all of the columns that you don't need, like this. And now you have what you need. Simply rename your column to order date. And when you go back to the sales table, hit the refresh preview button. And you should see your new order date containing what you need. You have your order date with the leading zeros. You have your employee IDs with the leading zeros. Everything's good. We're done with the exercise, but I want to talk about how we can further optimize these steps. So as you can see on my right, we added one, two, three, four, five additional steps into this equation. So basically all of these steps can actually be merged into one. So for the sake of optimization and doing all of these steps, instead of adding four additional columns and then removing them, we can simply just merge all of these texts into one line as a new column. And I'll show you how to do that. So I will, let's say, get rid of all of these steps. But before I do that, I copy, I'll copy this so I can just recycle recycle this so I don't have to rewrite all this. So I'm going to remove all of these and simply I am going to write a new formula. So I will call this order date final and what I'm going to do this time around is to combine all of these preemptively. So the first part of the equation gives me a month. So text.pad starts with the month, which what was which was what I got from my first column, and then I add in the delimiter and then I put the and. Now this time I'm going to pull in the date and once again add in your delimiters and then pull in finally the year. Of course, I don't need text.pad starts with because I don't need to pad the year. So simply bring in the date, convert it to a text. This should give me what I need. And of course, I forgot to change this to year. So that's why that was incorrect. So. By doing this, we can simply just remove all the other unnecessary. So by doing this, all we have to do is remove all the unnecessary steps and unnecessary columns to begin with. So we simply need to just write this formula once and it replicates five steps, further optimizing and making your refresh that much more quicker because in the background, you don't need to have the system create four separate columns and merge them, but rather do it all into one step. So there we have it. And once again, I'm going to delete the columns that I don't need, rename this one as the order date. And finally, close and load. So then I have my updated information. So there we go. Order date and employee ID have now been merged into this table with their leading zeros and in their correct formatting. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like, share, and subscribe. I'll be going over more basic and advanced Power Query features in future videos. So stay tuned.